What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna get right back into it, right where we left off. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. wasn't far now. Are you kidding me? Today, all this way, and we're not going to finish driving. Give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Coal mine museum. Wait, can I? I was going to say, why the hell can't I drive? So I can. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. But it matched a textbook case of insanity. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. All right, so we made it to the coal mine. Question is, now what? Oh. This probably answers some questions. Sarah and the radio With station. Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window. Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. And he's probably not wrong, but the question is, what the hell does he want? What the hell does the FBI want me for? Specifically, this Nightingale guy. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. After all that, he never fucking showed up? Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans! You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! What a freaking asshole. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Oh. Son of a bitch, you're kidding me. What the it was fuck, close. man? Maybe closer than ever before. <clears throat> fucking great. Leave the building. Easier said than done. Hey, look, thermos. Okay. I 
And another caution sign. Oh, jeez. Okay, that could have ended badly. Thankfully, it didn't. Thomas Zane in love with Barbara when Jagger. Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant, and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. I see. So she allowed him to be essentially creative. I thought I shot you guy. I, th I thought I, th I thought I killed him. Definitely not. Jeez. Okay. <sighs> okay. 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 Screw these guys. Fuck this place. So I got some flashbangs now. Okay. Got this. We got this. You do this. It's no problem. No problem at all. Get the fuck out of here. Not even gonna miss it. Throw that. Fuck off. Fuck out of here. Out of here with your bow shit. Alright, let's go. Jameer Peak Lookout. What the hell? What the hell? the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Oh, great. I'm gonna shut the power off. I hate the fact that they shoot twice. Okay. 
get the fuck out of here. Screw these guys, man. Man, honestly though, if you think about it, pretty much every one of those guys are just possessed assholes. Like, they're all just some poor bastards that are just being fucking just possessed and then I'm just disintegrating them essentially. Damn shame. A lot of people are dying because of this stupid darkness. Oh, I saw that. Oh my god. That was uh, lucky. Oh, what the fuck? Screw you guys. up a little bit. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Fuck these guys. That, that almost got me. Fuck, and I'm running so low on ammo. Are you serious? I could have drove? Oh, I could have just run them all over with the fucking truck. Oh my god. That's, that's annoying. I didn't have to waste all that ammo. Oh well, too late now. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I need ammo. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Jesus. Suck it. Eat fucking flashbang. Alright. The hell? You just stopped walking all of a sudden. Trust no one in the dark. And no kidding. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't notice that that was a letter. Oh, so, okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, look at Thermos. Hollow. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. 
Oh. It merely touched him. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. I don't like this anymore. Alright boys, I mean, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end it for tonight. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.